Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training sessions. Pass with Octopus in three minutes. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to deal with pagination with Infinite Scroll. The last way of pagination that we want to cover here today is the Infinite Scrolling. No button needs to be clicked. The web the website loads more information automatically when we come to the end of the page. For example, this page. You can see when we get to the bottom of the page, it will load more products. Octopus can simulate this kind of scrolling action easily. The scrolling is added in the loop as a loop mode. So we need to add a loop to the workflow, then select a scrolling page as the loop mode. Then you can define how you want the page to be scrolled. You can want it to scroll for one screen every time or scroll to the bottom. This depends on how the page is designed. Some pages will load more during the scrolling process, but some pages may only load more when we reach the bottom. Then we need to define the repeat, which is how many times you want Octopus to scroll and the width time which is the interval between two scrolls. Then you can build the steps of scrolling data. OK, we select the first product, select sub-elements, select all, and extra data. Then this workflow will help to scrape the data during the scrolling. Scrolling option can also be found in the go to web page or click item actions here in the option. If one page needs to load a specific elements after we scroll the page, we can set this up 